السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم جمیل صدیقی ٹوڈے ویل اسٹارٹ ان رائم انہیبیٹرس آفٹر دا سیشن یو وڈ بی ایبل ٹو ڈیفائن ان رائم انہیبیٹرس نو دے آر بایو میڈیکل امپورٹنس اینڈ ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل دا ٹائپس آف ان رائم انہیبیشنس ڈسٹنگش دا کائنیٹک پراپرٹیز آف ڈفرینٹ انہیبیٹرس and their role in therapeutics. Any substance, organic or inorganic, which inhibit or interfere with the enzyme activity, they are called enzyme inhibitors. They inhibit or interfere and sometimes they completely halt the activity of the enzyme on which they act. And this process is called enzyme inhibition, which depends on structure of enzyme and ligand binding through hydrogen bonds, electrostatic interactions, hydrophobic interactions and Van der Waals forces. Biomedical importance. The study of enzyme inhibitors and research on them, they provide information about substrate specificity, regulation of enzyme activity in the cellular metabolic pathways and catalytic functional groups at the active site of enzymes. Different methods and different tools are there to get the information more about the enzymes and one of them is enzyme inhibitor. Enzyme inhibitor play a significant role most important role in the drug dis discovery process because many drugs are enzyme inhibitors. They also provide research tools for the study of mechanism of enzyme action. The specific enzyme when studied in detail for its mechanism of action, the inhibitor of that enzyme also provides or reflects many aspects about the mechanism of action of that enzyme catalyzed reaction. They help in the control of many diseases, that is their role in therapeutics. There are four types of enzyme inhibitions. Competitive, non-competitive, uncompetitive or anti-competitive inhibition and fourth one is the allosteric inhibition. Competitive or substrate analog inhibition. The inhibitor and the substrate both compete with the binding site or catalytic active site of the enzyme and this binding is reversible. Why substrate analog? Because inhibitor structurally resemble, resembles the substrate very closely. When both structurally have the same structure, they compete for the same catalytic or active sites and it is that's why known as the competitive or substrate analog inhibition. When enzyme combines with the inhibitor, enzyme inhibitor is formed but the inhibitor can be forced out from EI or enzyme inhibitor complex by increasing the concentration of substrate and degree of inhibition depends upon the concentration of the substrate and inhibitor. More substrate, more enzyme substrate complex is formed if more concentration of inhibitor, more enzyme inhibitor complex is formed. And in such inhibitions, ES and EI complexes both are formed. Here is the enzyme and it if combines with the inhibitor, enzyme inhibitor or EI is formed when enzyme combines with the substrate it forms 
enzyme substrate complex and the, that binding de is dependent on the concentration of the substrate and the concentration of the inhibitor and also the affinity of the enzyme towards inhibitor or towards the substrate and there is reciprocal effects if inhibitor concentration is increased less es will be formed and when substrate concentration is increased less ei is formed this is because if we increase the concentration of either inhibitor or substrate because of increased number of molecules they collide more according to the collision theory if inhibitor molecules are more ei is favored if collision of substrate molecules are more concentration of substrate is more that formation of es that is enzyme substrate complex is favored and also the it they result in the formation of product and free enzyme when free enzyme is released to participate in the other the initial reaction so this is sort of a reversible binding it is not irreversible irreversible because enzyme is freed in the original condition the kinetic properties you know the kinetic properties we have gone through the enzyme kinetics and the michaelis menten model of the enzyme kinetics where the concentration of substrate was plotted against the velocity and here there is the affinity of the substrate for the enzyme is progressively decreased with the increase in the concentration of inhibitor so km is high but vmax is the same for competitive inhibition when the inhibitor occupies the active catalytic site more and more substrate concentration is required to reach half vmax to reach half vmax when substrate concentration required is more that is km is high and when km is high that means enzyme has less affinity towards its substrate because of binding of catalytic site by the inhibitor since the rate of reaction is the same vmax is the same competitive inhibition pictorially here is the enzyme having the catalytic site substrate and inhibitor having the resemblance in its structure this is the enzyme substrate complex es and it is the formation of enzyme inhibitor complex ei the formation of ei and es depend upon the concentration of substrate and inhibitor more concentration of substrate the enzyme substrate complex is favored and the vice versa it is the graphical presentation to understand the kinetic properties of competitive inhibitors the direct plot developed by the michaelis and menten double reciprocal plot developed by the line weaver and berg the curve is hyperbolic and the curve is in straight line here in the double reciprocal plot but the conclusions are the same came is increased in case of competitive inhibitor while the vmax remain the same the same conclusion is here in case of line weaver burk plot when no inhibitor is there this is the came when inhibitor competitive inhibitor binds with the enzyme came increases while in both cases without inhibitor with competitive inhibitor vmax ultimately reaches to the same level that is it does not change 
similarly here the km is increased while vmax or half vmax remains the same the intersect on the x axis which is 1 upon s that is 1 upon substrate reciprocal of the substrate concentration it is on the left side while it becomes shifted toward the right side near the zero so since it is in the minus it increases this came is low and this came is high so came increases or becomes high in case of competitive inhibitor while the vmax remains the same same conclusions of competitive inhibitors either by michaelis and menten hyperbolic plot or double reciprocal plot developed by the line weaver and burke what is the conclusion competitive inhibitors they increase the km and the vmax remains unchanged example of competitive inhibitors they are the statin drugs and some other drugs statin drugs they inhibit the synthesis of cholesterol de novo synthesis of cholesterol example is provastatin which competes with the hmg co a hydroxy methyl glutaryl co a is the substrate and enzyme is hmg co a reductase causing the reduction of hmg co a and converting it into mevalonate in the pathway of the cholesterol synthesis the structure of hmg co a matches with the active site so it bind with the active site of the hmg co a reductase the provastatin or atorvastatin they have structural similarity one part of the molecule has a structural similarity with the substrate so this inhibitor having a structural similarity with the substrate competes and binds with on the active side of the enzyme when this inhibitor binds with the active site of the enzyme it competitively inhibits the binding of hmg co a substrate so hmg co substrate is not reduced and the synthesis of the cholesterol pathway is blocked or inhibited this is the example of competitive inhibitor hmg co a a few lines about the hmg co a carbohydrates proteins and lipids when they are catabolized the end product is generally 2 carbon acetyl coa 2 carbon acetyl coa condenses to form 4 carbon acetoacetyl coa 4 carbon acetoacetyl coa they are converted into hmg coa hmg coa is 6 carbon hydroxy methyl glutaryl coa is a 6 carbon structure and this is reduced by the enzyme hmg coa reductase into the intermediate mevalonate the conversion of hmg coa to the mevalonate is the committed regulatory step in the de novo synthesis of the cholesterol when this first limit rate limiting or committed step is inhibited by these inhibitors competitive inhibitors statin drugs then the synthesis de novo synthesis of the cholesterol is decreased other examples of competitive inhibitors are allopurinol used in the treatment of the gout monoamine oxidase inhibitors and methotrexate about these drugs and clinical enzymology you will be taught in your next two lectures non competitive inhibition non competitive inhibitor they do not compete with the substrate for the catalytic site or active site because inhibitor binds at a site other than the active site of the enzyme and structurally doesn't resemble with the substrate so there is no mutual competition for the binding site similarly 
if we increase the substrate concentration it cannot force out the inhibitor because substrate binds to the active site while inhibitor is not bound to the active site but it binds to the other site or we can say the allosteric site allosteric site is generally used for the allosteric enzymes but actually they mean the sites on the enzyme other than the substrate or active catalytic site so if we increase the substrate concentration it cannot force out the inhibitor because s competes for the catalytic site while inhibitor is attached to the other site than the catalytic or active site on which the substrate is attached inhibitor and substrate they bind at different site when they bind at different sites so enzyme can bind with the inhibitor to form enzyme inhibitor complex or the enzyme substrate complex if it is formed it can still bind with the inhibitor to produce esi complex is possible this esi complex forms product at a slower rate than the es complex we will see then the picture when the reaction is slowed down the vmax is decreased but km is unchanged because the binding of the substrate with the enzyme or affinity of the enzyme with the substrate is unchanged so km is unchanged now let's see in the picture and we can explain normally enzyme has a catalytic site occupied by the substrate and enzyme substrate complex is formed which is converted into product and free enzyme free enzyme is retrievable and product is formed the rate of reaction is the normal because the inhibitor has another site binds to the another site not competes for the catalytic or active site so it can bind with the enzyme to produce ei complex and still ei complex it has open catalytic site on which substrate can bind so free enzyme can be inhibited by inhibitor or es complex can be converted into esi complex that is enzyme substrate inhibitor complex when formation of esi complex is there it is inactive and ei complex is also inactive but substrate is attached so it should be converted into product but esi complex is converted to the product very slowly when it is converted very slowly the kinetic property is changed and what are the changes in the kinetic properties in case of non competitive competitive inhibitors vmax is decrease esi complex produces less and less product as compared to the normal esi complex but affinity of the enzyme to the substrate is normal because catalytic site of the enzyme is open for the substrate not occupied by the inhibitor so km is unchanged it remains same there are two types of non competitive inhibitions reversible and irreversible there is misconception that covalent bindings between the inhibitor and enzyme results in irreversible non competitive inhibition and if non covalent bonds are formed between inhibitor and enzyme that inhibition is called as re reversible inhibition but this is not the case there is a misconception reversible and irreversible inhibitors they may have covalent or no covalent bonds so the bonding is not important the important thing is the freed enzyme the retrieved or freed enzyme whether has catalytic activity or not when it has 
enzymatic activity the reaction is reversible and the inhibitor is known as reversible non competitive inhibitor and if the inhibitor is removed only by the loss of enzymatic activity it is known as irreversible non competitive inhibition because the bind enzyme activity is lost then the reaction is irreversible when the enzyme activity is retained the reaction is reversible so reversible and irreversible types depend upon the enzyme retrieved enzyme having enzyme activity or not in case of both reversible and irreversible non competitive inhibitions the kinetic properties are the same remain the same that is vmax is decreased while the km remains unchanged examples binding of heavy metals lead inhibit ferrochelates certain insecticide inhibit enzyme acetylcholine esterase and fluoride inhibit the enzyme enolase some explanation of these examples of non competitive inhibition lead inhibits ferrochelates non competitively by covalent bonds ferrochelate is chelates is the enzyme you remember which incorporates iron into the protoporphyrin 9 to make heme this lead inhibits ferrochelates and heme synthesis is decreased this lead that's why causes anemia the petrols nowadays they are lead free petrols because in the environment they increase the level of the lead and increased level of lead is found into the blood of the people exposed to the fumes so lead poisoning leads to anemia similarly the pencils are formed which are lead free pencils because the infants or younger children or toddlers they used to eat the pencils and they used to chew the lead and they used to suffer from the lead poisoning resulting in anemia so pencils they are made nowadays lead free and all the petrols marketed in pakistan are also lead free like other developed countries some insecticide you know they kill the insects and they inhibit acetylcholine esterase and produce neurotoxic effect acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter and released at the neurosynaptic junctions or neuromuscular junctions and they cause the muscle contraction acetylcholine is formed and it is at once inactivated by acetylcholine esterase so when this acetylcholine esterase is inhibited by insecticide the level of acetylcholine is increased at neuromuscular junction and because of that there is a jam in the nervous system and paralysis or even convulsions may result but in insects the same mechanism certain insecticides they paralyze the nervous system of the insects and they kill the insects those insecticide they non competitively inhibit the enzyme acetylcholine esterase fluoride ion they inhibit the enzyme enolase enolase is the enzyme found in the glycolysis and the magnesium and manganese which act as cofactors for the enolase the fluoride ions replaces them and stops glycolysis the best example practical example is that 
when we collect the blood sample for the glucose and keep them for hours before the analysis the glucose is metabolized or used by the rbcs and glycolysis proteins and serum or plasma blood glucose level decreases as time passes but we add fluoride into those containers in which we collect the sample for the estimation of blood plasma glucose when fluoride is added which inhibits enolase so glycolysis is blocked and the glucose level is not decreased by the utilization of the rbcs so rbcs cannot utilize glucose by the process of glycolysis which takes place anaerobic glycolysis which takes place in the rbcs for the production and need of the atps there is a special type of irreversible non competitive inhibition known as suicide inhibition substrate analog inhibitors which competitively inhibit and they structurally have the same structure with the substrate if they are converted into more effective inhibitor by the enzyme itself they can inhibit irreversibly which is non competitive inhibition and that is known as suicide inhibition i explain the example allopurinol is the example of competitive inhibitor this drug is branded as dialuric used in the treatment of gout due to hyperuricemia uric acid deposit into the smaller joints causing the pain especially the great toe enzyme is the xanthine oxidase and allopurinol is the inhibitor competitive inhibitor but this enzyme converts allopurinol into alloxanthine which is a more more potent and stronger inhibitor of enzyme itself normally in purine metabolism hypoxanthine is formed as an intermediate which is oxidized into xanthine and xanthine is oxidized into uric acid both the steps from hypoxanthine to xanthine and from xanthine to uric acid is met catalyzed by xanthine oxidase but this xanthine oxidase also converts allopurinol which is a competitive inhibitor into alloxanthine it is a more potent and effective stronger inhibitor of the xanthine oxidase itself this enzyme or enzymes in suicide inhibition literally commit suicide by utilizing normal enzyme reaction mechanism to produce more potent inhibitor to inactivate itself other examples of suicide inhibition is drug aspirin which is the inhibitor of cyclooxygenase decrease production of prostaglandin and pain is relieved 5 fluorouracil non competitively irreversible non competitively and also having the suicide inhibition on the thymidylate synthase so decrease in dna and rna and this 5 fluorouracil is anti cancerous drug many examples are there which are mentioned in the books along with the mechanism of action either it would be taught to you in in the consecutive lecture on clinical enzymology or you may read from other examples in detail from the book it is the pictorial description of non competitive inhibition here is the enzyme having catalytic site resemblance with the substrate structurally another site 
or you may call allosteric site having similarity with the inhibitor. Inhibitor and substrate both combine and they do not compete for the same site. Substrate has got its own catalytic site while the inhibitor has its own inhibitor or allosteric or other site. This inhibitor combines with the enzymes and the substrate combines with the enzyme results in the formation of enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. When enzyme substrate inhibitor complex is formed, the less production of the product net product is there and rate of reaction is slowed down that is velocity is slowed down. Explanation of kinetic properties of non-competitive inhibitors. In the direct graph or line weaver Burke plot. Non-competitive inhibitor you can see doesn't change the KM. The substrate concentration at which half of the Vmax is achieved remains the same. However, Vmax is decreased. Normally Vmax is this inhibitor causes decrease in the Vmax. Similarly, when Vmax is decreased, that is half Vmax is also decreased. Here at half Vmax, the concentration of substrate is same. When decrease is half Vmax in case of inhibitor, the concentration of the substrate is the same. So the Km value remains unchanged. Same interpretation, same conclusion in the line we were work plot. The intersect uh, x axis for the Km is the same. In case of normal enzyme and in case of inhibited enzyme. But Vmax is decreased. Half Vmax or Vmax is decreased because the non competitive inhibitor shift the graph toward the ups, upside of the y axis. And since on y axis we plot the reciprocal quantity or 1 upon v, so the upward shift of this plot reflects decrease in. Vmax. This is the summarized difference between competitive and non competitive inhibitions. In competitive inhibition, the binding of inhibitor with the enzyme is reversible, while in case of non competitive inhibition, it may be reversible or irreversible. Structurally, inhibitor and substrate they resemble while they do not resemble in non-competitive inhibition. Inhibit, inhibitor binds at the active site and competes with the substrate, while inhibitor does not bind the active site, rather other site or allosteric site. Vmax is the same, Km is increased in case of competitive inhibition. And kinetically, Vmax is lowered and Km is unaltered or remain the same in case of non-competitive inhibition. Inhibitor cannot bind with the enzyme substrate complex. So if enzyme substrate complex is formed, the rate of reaction remains the same and product is formed. So Vmax is same. While here inhibitor can bind with the enzyme substrate complex making another complex ESI enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. So the Vmax is lowered because the production or conversion into the product is slowed down. The inhibitor lowers the substrate affinity to the enzyme while it inhibitor does not change the substrate affinity for the enzyme. When the affinity is decreased, that is Km is increased. More substrate is required to reach the half Vmax. Km is increased. When there is a no change in affinity, 
between the enzyme or substrate. So KM is unaltered. Complex formed is enzyme inhibitor complex and complex formed is either ESI enzyme substrate inhibitor or enzyme inhibitor. Third type is uncompetitive inhibition or anti-competitive inhibition. In this case, the inhibitor binds only to the enzyme substrate complex and not the free enzyme. Enzyme substrate complex once formed, it causes structural changes in the enzyme to facilitate inhibitor binding, which results in the formation of enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. And this inhibition cannot be reversed by increasing the substrate concentration since inhibitor doesn't compete with the substrate for the same binding site or active site. Rather, what happens when we increase the substrate concentration? It favors more inhibition. And since less substrate concentration is required to proceed the reaction, that decreases the KM. Example, inhibition of placental type alkaline phosphatase by the phenylalanine. The placental type alkaline phosphatase is also a marker for human tumors and gonadal and other urological cancers. Here is the kinetic property of uncompetitive inhibitors. They decrease the Vmax and KM both. This is the pictorial presentation for better understanding. This is the enzyme, free enzyme, catalytic site for the substrate and another site for binding inhibitor. This substrate when binds enzyme substrate complex is formed which changes 3D or structural changes in the binding site. You see it is not rectangular and it is now rectangular. So this change in this binding site facilitates the binding of inhibitor. So enzyme substrate inhibitor complex is formed and which results in decreased formation of the product. So rate of reaction is also decreased, decreasing the Vmax and less substrate concentration is required to favor the reaction. So KM is also decreased. Kinetic properties of the enzyme inhibitions in the form of plots, they are grouped together for better comparison and differentiation. These are the direct plots or Michaelis Menten plots. These are the line weaver and Burke plots or double reciprocal plots. Competitive inhibition and in non-competitive inhibition. The kinetic changes I have explained to you. I repeat, in competitive inhibition, Vmax is unchanged, KM is increased. The same result depicts depicted from line weaver Burke plot. The KM is increased while Vmax remains the same. Similarly, in non-competitive inhibition, Vmax decreased and came unchanged. The same result can be obtained, already explained to you. But only uncompetitive kinetics in the form of a plot, which I should explain to you, both Vmax and came decreased. <laughs> 
hyperbolic curve or direct curve in the form of normal enzyme without inhibitor is this while in the when the inhibitor combines this plot dotted plot shows shows the hyperbolic curve for enzyme substrate inhibitor complex you see this is the normal came for the enzyme not inhibited by the inhibitor when inhibited by the inhibitor uncompetitive inhibitor came decreases and vmax is also decreased when inhibited as compared to when not inhibited here in the line viewer work plot the slope is same but intersects are changed in case of inhibitor km is decreased and vmax is decreased the intersects are changed the quantities are reciprocal so if we go upward to the y axis it is the decrease in velocity and if you go away from the zero the km also decreases allosteric inhibition the allosteric enzymes and their study would be discussed in the next lecture under the heading of regulation of enzyme activity but some effectors they inhibit these enzymes so it is included under the heading of allosteric inhibition what are allosteric enzymes they are composed of multiple subunits and allosteric site may be located on a subunit that is not itself catalytic they catalyze the first committed or regulatory step that step may be first second third but it is the committed or regulatory step in a metabolic pathway what is allosteric inhibition it is a mixed kind of inhibition there could be enhancement or inhibition of the reaction catalyzed by these allosteric enzymes by modulators here the inhibitors they are called modulators or effectors which bind non covalently at a site other than the active site and called allosteric sites so inhibitors they are called modulators or effectors which bind on allosteric site leaving the catalytic site the allosteric inhibition does not follow the michaelis menten hyperbolic kinetics rather sigmoidal kinetics is followed by allosteric enzymes inhibited by their or affected by their effectors and they show cooperativity that type of cooperativity is seen in heme heme interaction in case of hemoglobin when oxygen combines with the sub one heme unit it cooperatively enhances the binding of oxygen to other heme units so that heme heme interaction sort of a thing or cooperativity is also seen in case of allosteric modulators or effectors in allosteric inhibition modulator or effector changes three dimensional structure of allosteric enzymes and can change the affinity of the enzyme for its substrate that is km modify the maximal catalytic activity of the enzyme that is vmax or both so kinetic properties the positive or negative modulators or effective of allosteric enzymes can affect either vmax 
or came or both and there may be a positive modulator increasing enzyme activity or negative modulator decreasing the enzyme activity there are two types of allosteric effects homotropic and heterotropic homotropic is the effect caused by the substrate itself which acts as an effector while heterotropic effect refers to the effect caused by the effector different from the substrate it may be product example of allosteric inhibition is 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate which is present in almost all the tissues but maximum in the RBCs binds to allosteric site on hemoglobin when it binds to the one subunit or heme unit the affinity of oxygen of all subunit decreases so more and more oxygen is delivered to the tissues that is increase in delivery and the inhibition of the 2,3 bisphosphate glycerate on the hemoglobin here is the examples of allosteric modulators or effectors glutamate dehydrogenase is the enzyme activated by adenosine diphosphate while inhibited by adenosine triphosphate and reduced form of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide reduced NADH and more ATP they inhibit the glutamate dehydrogenase when more ATPs are utilized more ADPs are formed they become the allosteric activator of this glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme hexokinase ADP is the activator and ATP or glucose 6-phosphate both are inhibitors of hexokinase protein kinases and other kinases they are activated by cyclic MP rather they require for their activity the presence of the cyclic AMP pyruvate decarboxylase acetyl-CoA is the activator and ADP is the inhibitor you only observe and try to capture the knowledge of allosteric activators and inhibitors while the details of these enzymes would be taught to you when the respective metabolic pathways would be studied in detail simple explanation of allosteric site allo means other steric means site so allosteric means other site that is not the active site rather other site allosteric enzymes have two receptor sites one site fits the substrate like other enzymes this site is the active site for the substrate to bind the other site fits an inhibitor or activator the other site that fits an inhibitor or activator molecule is shown here and this other site is called allosteric site where allosteric modulators or effectors they bind Let us see how these allosteric modulators they inhibit or activate the enzymes. The allosteric inhibition, the inhibitor or negative effector attaches to the allosteric side of the enzyme and causes the structural change on the active site. Now the active site or catalytic site is changed, altered and substrate cannot bind with the catalytic site decreasing the 
enzyme activity that is allosteric inhibition. While activation, the activator or positive effector binds to the allosteric site and this altered state of catalytic site is changed and the conformation is in agreement with the shape of the substrate and the activation of the enzyme activity happens. So how negative effector and positive effector, they inhibit or activate the enzyme activity. Here it is the study of kinetic activities or kinetic properties of these modulators. In graph A, Vmax is altered. Positive effector increases the Vmax, that is enzyme activity, while negative effector decreases the Vmax, that is enzyme activity. So Vmax, these effectors can alter the Vmax. Similarly, the positive effector decreases the Km, that is increases the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate, while negative effector alters the Km to increase, showing decrease in the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate. Again, you remember that is Km is the substrate concentration where half Vmax is achieved. Positive effector decreases the Km and increases the enzymatic affinity toward the substrate, while negative effector increases the Km by decreasing the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate. What is the role the enzyme inhibitors play in therapeutics as drugs? We see few examples. Some drugs or antibiotics called beta-lactam antibiotics because they have beta-lactam ring in their structure. For example, penicillin derivative and cephalosporine, which are obtained from the fungi, they act by inhibiting enzymes involved in the bacterial cell wall synthesis. So they kill the uh, bacteria. The penicillin derivatives or cephalosporines, since they have beta-lactam ring, some bacteria, especially gram-negative bacteria, Klebsiella and E. coli, they produce enzymes to inactivate these antibiotics. That enzyme is beta-lactamase. When these bacteria, drug-resistant bacteria, produce beta-lactamase, they inactivate, they break down the beta-lactam ring in these antibiotics and develop resistance against these antibiotics. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Angiotensin is the peptide hormone which is part of renin angiotensin system which controls the blood pressure. Angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 by the angiotensin converting enzyme mainly found in the lungs. This angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor causing the increase in blood pressure. The ACE inhibitors or angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, for example, captopril, enalapril, and lisinopril, most commonly used in Pakistan is the lysanopril in the brand name of Zestril, which decreases the blood pressure and used in the treatment of the hypertension. They inhibit ACE. Angiotensin converting enzyme, converting angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor. They inhibit this enzyme, ACE. So, Angiotensin 1 is not converted into angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor.
so there is decrease in blood pressure by these S inhibitors by decreasing the formation of angiotensin 2. This is the key concept map for the enzyme inhibitors competitive, non competitive effect on the kinetics, allosteric enzymes, their qualities and activation and inhibition by positive effector and negative effector. This is taken from the Lippincott and you can follow that from the Lippincott. My email address and resource books. Thank you.